I have successfully fixed um, bugged out uh, units. So that's how it looks like. Without serious bugging out. <clears throat> uh, the front line looks a little bit uh, clearer, more beautiful. Undoubtedly. In any case, um, the tide of war seems endless. And um, oh, look at that! Build a military academy. What if we build it? Yugoslavia gets academy, and uh, we don't really get much out of it. But let's build it for the sake of it. There is not much uh, we can focus on anyway, so um, let's just uh, continue this fight and um, I hope for uh, A victory or a peace treaty so um, obviously fighting until um, 1970s would be unacceptable however um, the front line haven't changed much over the last few years it only moved a couple of hundred kilometers forward or backwards things um, are looking grim, millions have died, and um, it could be that only atomic bomb could um, turn the tide to one side or the other. So far, um, as much as we would like to, due to massive supply shortages. There was hardly anything we could do in our offensives. <clears throat> As you can see here, our manpower reserves are consistently being depleted. Fortunately. And um, the end is nowhere, nowhere to be seen. However, we can take a look at other fronts here and see how things look like. And the fronts, things look like they are very quiet. Americans are already in Britain, they have base of operations, Italians are being pushed out of North Africa, and um, we are fighting uh, against the Soviets. The fight against the Soviets is not nearly as straightforward. We are continuously pushing the front forward and backwards. The blizzards, the mud. <clears throat> fighting for a few years now. The Soviets did reach Romania. However, they took Odessa, but however, we pushed them back. We pushed them back so far, we even saw the entry into Crimea. However, not long after, as usual, most likely due to weather conditions, we are unable to um, successfully fight this. We're going to recruit more officers. Approximately 20,000 officers will die every six months so um <clears throat> officers tend to be wounded or killed at a very high rate and uh, that could be due to the fact that um, we are promoting officers consistently <clears throat> officers who um, haven't finished the 40-year officer training and they may be a little bit more bold, however in these times being bold may not be the worst thing. 
that uh, can happen. In any case, our national unit is very high. Things are not overall looking bad. One thing's for sure, hopefully it won't be cut in half <clears throat> near Latvia and Lithuania, Estonia. Uh, Lithuania is still not an Axis member, but they do provide us a uh, transit rights, so our troops are happily marching through. And, um, or at least Nazi troops are. I'm not sure if we can do this, however, Lithuanians are granting Nazis and Latvians military access, so. In the worst case scenario, the deserters will be able to stay there for um, some time until the war ends. It's currently 1946 and um, the end is yet to be seen. Of intelligence should give us a clear understanding of what's happening. It looks like Soviets are losing millions, but at the same time they are recruiting troops at a fast rate. They're building infrastructure. It's good that they're building infrastructure. Eventually this could lead to a better offensive for us, but there are much better offensive um, capabilities. Here let's take a look at this area in particular and see how the fighting uh, looks here. As you can see, many Soviet uh, armored divisions are successfully blasting through. Us here. And... Um, these look like they are... Um, endless. They have many tank divisions even in the reserve. The front line consists of multiple divisions and even the Finns are here defending us. It looks like some of these Finns may just be smart enough to get the hell out of there. There's a long way to retreat in Europe, not um, such a long way in Finland. However, Finnish are very good fighters indeed. As far as I'm aware, Winter War never took place. Here we are seeing endless fighting. Endless. Absolutely. <clears throat> battle after battle. And this will tap into <coughs> manpower reserves undoubtedly. As far as I know, I, I can't run out of manpower on either side, but uh, without the manpower, new divisions won't be built, so eventually divisions end up being overrun, though. So, um, that's one thing to look for. Now, let's take a look at the axis. And they have 4 million, so the Nazis are losing way less troops than uh, their Soviet counterparts. However, Nazis are losing ground, and they don't have nearly as much uh, armored equipment as the Soviets do. So, in this region alone... We see multiple attacks taking place. Let's move on further. See what's happening here. It looks like this area is a little quiet. Snow is over. Uh, as you can see, they can man their positions with uh, far greater numbers than we can. That is the axis. So it's have way, way more troops, and that obviously 
makes them very, very strong. Here it looks like uh, we can have many more projects. So, uh, go after these. Come for coordination that increase repair rate. And um, I need some more supply and fuel. To fuel this machine, let's have go after research efficiency also. Radar efficiency, secret rockets industry, road network. Let's go after the road network. Okay. Here we see an offensive on them and they will retreat. Good to know. However, look at that. They suddenly send multiple reinforcements. Many, many troops. And. Um, Looks like we're counter-attacking <clears throat> here <clears throat> on one side and they're counter-attacking on the other side. <clears throat> we will see how far this can go. Here, look at the officer numbers. Our officers are going down like flies. Every day, every hour, probably every day, Maybe a hundred or so officers dies. Well, they probably are not even officers anymore, but just soldiers who get promotion. But this alone gives us um, an indication of um, Uh, the ferocity, that's the intensity of the battles, which is huge, obviously. So here we saw the month of March in this area, <clears throat> and the fighting's taking place all over. Good for everybody, I guess. <clears throat> And the sooner the Soviets run out of manpower, maybe the best, the better. Hard to see. No age bombs or atomic bombs have been dropped just yet. Our convoys are being raided. So that's not good. Save the money. No need for very expensive monuments. This is an important area. This is an area where... Um, so it's could split us in half. However... Um, just... Not yet. We're fighting very effectively. So far, in here, in any case, the advance from the Soviets is, um, <clears throat> is very slow. I think that uh, the power structure here is balanced, it's very, very equal. And the Soviets maybe have a slight advantage. Let's not forget that not all Nazi divisions are here anyway. There are <clears throat> many more all over the place. However, undoubtedly the majority is in the Eastern Front. <clears throat> it's good that the Balkans are fighting here also. However, Due to the supply problems, we were not able to fight with uh, our full potential, though. 
resource stockpile is almost empty. That supplies only for 30 days. Looks like we only have um, maybe three months supply if we have a uh, hundred thousand or so. So that's the limitation. It only goes up to a hundred thousand, which is only in these kind of scenarios. So let's see about the manpower here. Three million. Still, still good. This will last for some time anyway. They are the Soviets once again moving towards the uh, Romanian border. Our troops um, are still fine. I'm not losing too many divisions. And it looks like um, Nazis have yet um, very large reserves anyway. But this could be very weak, as you can see, consisting of just a few brigades on some uh, instances, but not all instances. And HQs all over the place, elite HQs. Okay, see how this is gonna go. And the Soviets, unfortunately for us, have many, too many tanks. Let's go here and see how the fighting is taking place over there. Finns are fighting, Soviets here. And it looks like here the Axis powers does, do have a numerical advantage, but. Um, on this terrain right here, deep forests, things are not nearly going as planned. <clears throat> in any case, in a few months the front line didn't move by much and it looks like it's gonna stay like that for a very very long time now we're consistently fighting battles as you can see here in the top right corner <laughs> these are the battles and um, we are consistently fighting them Okay, the Soviets are under 3 million now. 3 million manpower in reserve. But, um... We'll see what happens. If they run out. I th From this perspective, it's hard to see if the Soviets could win, I can't believe that um, they could win eventually, but in terms of a couple of years, maybe they can't. Maybe it's just too balanced right now. Maybe powers are very, very equal at this point close to europe we are getting supplies at a reasonable rate and um, things may not be disastrous however here they did approach us Um, as you can see here, we don't have anything to fight with, no bullets. <clears throat> Without bullets, not much can happen. After the first minor nation falls, then things will certainly go towards... So it's the, the, the front would extend even further, so 
it may look like it's very extended, but when the Romanians will be hit much harder, then undoubtedly, especially right here, 